Foundations of Business Analysis students and welcome to this Excel tutorial on the independent samples t-test. We use an independent samples t-test when we compare whether or not the mean from one variable is different from a mean from another variable. The independent samples t-test is the relevant test where those two variables are measured on a continuous scale and where they are independent of each other. The best way to identify whether two variables are independent is to see whether or not they are mutually exclusive. That is, if we create our two variables based on some form of categorization, if the categories are mutually exclusive, so the variable's got to be either in one category or the other, we know that the two variables formed by that categorization will be mutually exclusive variables. So let's jump into Excel to have a look at how this test is actually performed. So here I've got my Excel real estate case study data file and I might be interested to test whether the sale price of a house is statistically different for those houses that do have central air conditioning and those that don't. So what I'm going to create here are two continuous variables. The first one is going to be a sale price variable but only for those houses that do have central air conditioning. The second variable will be also a sale price variable but it will be for those houses that do not have central air conditioning. So what I need to do is be able to, first of all, create those two variables using my raw data. The easiest way to do this is to highlight all my data by clicking in the top left hand corner here, selecting data and filtering my data by clicking on filter. Okay, that will enable me to perform filters on any of the variables that I've got along the top here. So I'm going to filter based on central air conditioning by clicking on the little arrow next to it and I'm going to only have the number one selected. When I click OK, what that gives me are just those observations or just those houses that do have central air conditioning. So I come over here to my sale price, click on cell B4, and holding down Shift, Control, and the down arrow, I'm going to copy all those observations. I'm then going to open up a new spreadsheet and I'm going to paste them as a variable. So just looking at the, the, the basic characteristics of this variable, down the bottom here, Excel tells me there's 715 observations that do have central air conditioning. The average of that uh, variable there is $188,459. I'm going to come back to my raw data and do exactly the same thing again, but now I only want to identify those houses that do not have central air conditioning. Okay. So again, I've filtered based on the value zero for my central air conditioning. I copy those values and I paste it over here into a second column. So now I have two variables, I'm going to call them central equals one, central equals zero, so I can identify what they are. And what I'm measuring here is just the, the house prices for those houses that do have central air conditioning and those that don't. So now I've set up the basics, I can do my test. So I click data and go into data analysis. And when I scroll down, there's an option for my two sample t-test. And it's always safest to use the assuming unequal variances. We don't want to make any unnecessary assumptions. So here, there's no reason for us to assume that, this, that the, uh, the variance is going to be equal. So I select that option and click OK. I then select my two variables. So my, the range that my, my two variables fall in are respectively A2 to A716 and B2 to B486. My hypothesized difference is zero, because my null hypothesis is that there is no difference between these variables. And in this case, I'm going to ask Excel to report the output on the spreadsheet right here in cell D2. I'm going to click OK. So we can see that that output has been generated. And the first thing, obviously, that we tend to focus on is our p-value. Okay, so here we've got our, our p-value. Our p-value in this case is very much close to zero. The test statistic was minus 13.36. So given that p-value is effectively zero, here we can reject the null hypothesis. So we reject the null hypothesis that the sale price of houses with and without central air conditioning is equal. I can come up here and look at the means of each group to determine why they're different. Interestingly enough, in this sample, houses that do not have central air conditioning actually had a much higher mean than those that do. So that's how we can perform an independent samples t-test using Excel. Thanks for listening.